What's up guys, Admiral Stiles here. In today's video, I'm fighting the Universe class USS Enterprise J with the Valiant class USS Valiant. I chose the Valiant to do this fight because I feel it has a good chance, because it's maneuverable. Instead of going with the USS Defiant, because the Defiant is a few generations out of date here. So it's not going to be as fast, and the Universe class, it's really damn fast. So far we are getting our asses kicked in this fight. I may have to do a 3 versus 1 here. Alright, so far we got uh, some good hits on the enemy's ventral side, but pretty much all of our sides are messed up. Yeah, I see this being over as soon as they come about. I'm trying not to fly in front of them, but that might be unavoidable. Ah, they got our sensor array. Huh, somewhat, somehow we got we got them back. I'm confused. I saw them blink red in the little display on the bottom. So that means they're destroyed. So how did we get them back? Alright, it doesn't matter. So for the next fight, I'm going to do three Valiants versus one Universe class. Let's get to it. Alright, let's see if we fare any better in this battle. I'm trying to see if they're going to target us, and yes they are. Alright, so for the I think for the most part of this battle, I'm going to be on the defensive. So I don't die before my two wingmen do their job and destroy the Enterprise J. Oh, that was a really close flyby. That thing is so fast, it picks up speed like... I don't know, I wonder if that thing has its own subspace field. The technology on the Enterprise J is really powerful. If Star Trek Discovery Seasons 3 and 4 are anything to go by, there was a lot of technology lost, I guess because of the events that happened in the beginning of... Well, I guess... In the early 3000s, late 2000s, I don't even know what year Discovery is in anymore. <laughs> but uh, I feel like a lot of technology has been lost that was developed early on in the, uh, I guess in the early future post 25th century, like between the 2600s and 3000s. Alright, quick damage report, what did we lose? two torpedo launchers, two tractor beams, and one phaser. So technically we can still fight, but alright, let's try the reverse battle now and do the universe class against the three valiants. I have a good feeling we're gonna, we're gonna win here. Alright, just gotta set up multi-targeting, full power to the phaser system, of course full power to the forward and ventral shields. I'm gonna try my best to avoid colliding with them. I've had experiences where the Valiants collide with me. I'm not quite sure how or why. They must have the Jem'Hadar AI or perhaps the Klingon AI. I think it's the Klingon AI. Klingons tend to ram in certain conditions, but the Jem'Hadar usually ram larger targets. Okay, I'm warming up to this model of the Universe class. I still think that it has way too many rows of windows. Not too many rows of windows, just too many windows, period. But it does look nice. And it's thicker than some of the other models I've seen. Like, a lot of them look like pancake flippers. Alright, so far we're doing really well in this match. We have one of them with critical damage. Oh no, this one's about to ram us. I'm gonna try to avoid that. And that didn't happen. That's okay. So, we destroyed one with phaser fire, and the other one basically killed itself with a kamikaze attack. So, that leaves us with one to go. As soon as we stop spinning here, we'll finish off the last one. I like how the phasers have been mostly accurate at this distance. Usually, beam weapons miss. 
Oh wow, our impulse engines must have been hit. Ah, that was a very nice hit. Took them down quite a bit. That damage on the right side of the shuttle bay doesn't look that good. I guess it's the whole thing about the inside being bigger than the outside. That hull breach kind of exposes that a little bit. Even though of course that doesn't exist in uh, Bridge Commander. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was pretty interesting. These battles with the Valiant class are usually very fast paced just because the ship maneuvers so quickly. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Admiral Styles. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you on the next one. Admiral Styles out.